Here's Ellis and Tom Armstrong dual registered with St Helens. Fourth tackle as he plays the ball. Mills, Mills out the back. Swooped on by Robbie Hunter Paul. He did well there. The referee's right the tackle count. He says there was a Halifax hand in there. This is a great opportunity. Littler. Unbelievable. 163 consecutive appearances for Salford City Reds during his stint with them. But now back home with Lee and hoping to earn some more success. A winner against Doncaster in 2008, Stuart Littler. Here's Ellis. Right in front of those posts, the Lee fans urging their side on once again. Can they get back into this game? Don't have far to go, there's only a try and a goal in it. But it's determined defence from Halifax. The kick from Ridyard is a good one, and Ellis is it. It is a second, right under the posts. And the referee checks with his officials and awards the try. And Jamie Ellis, who'll be playing in the black and white of Hull FC, signing off for Lee with a barnstorming performance. Second try of the night, perfectly weighted kick, well read. He's going to have some competition at Hull with Aaron Heremeyer and Brett Seymour signed for next season. But this young man looks as though he might be up to the challenge. Well, let's have a look at this back to one. I think this is a tough call. David Mills offloads this ball and it hits the elbow of Danny Jones. Accidentally, but nevertheless, it's six to go. And from this, a fantastic kick from Ridyard. And Ellis, he knows where that ball's going to be. And all he has to do is work his socks off to be in the right place at the right time, right in front of the Lee fans. And Nanin thumps that one home right in front of the Lee fans. And we're level again, 16 points apiece. We're heading for extra time once again unless somebody can come up with the decisive blow in the last few minutes here. Thoughtful uh, Halifax coach, but he's seen it all before, as has his opposite number, Ian Millwood. I'm not sure.